problem solving, estimate. Estimating or approximating is making a sort of educated guess as to what the answer might be. By estimating, we can get an idea of roughly what number our final answer should be. Let's try it out. For example, Jenny went on a road trip. On Monday, Jenny drove 298 miles. On Tuesday, she drove 305 miles. On Wednesday, Jenny drove 91 miles. How many total miles did Jenny drive? First, look at the largest number. When you are adding, you know for a fact that your answer has to be greater than your biggest number. In this case, the answer will definitely be more than 305. That might sound silly, but have you ever meant to add and accidentally subtracted because you weren't paying close enough attention? Estimating helps you avoid making silly mistakes. If you unintentionally start by subtracting 298 from 305 and then adding 91, you'll get an answer of 98. Remembering that you estimated your answer would be more than 305, you'll know right away you made a mistake. When estimating, you might also try rounding numbers to the closest 1, 10, 100, any number that might be close to the number you're working with, but make it easier to use when working with a math problem. After all, 3 is a lot easier to work with than 2 and 7 eighths. Let's try it with our road trip problem. 298 is close to 300, so is 305. 91 is about 100. Adding 300 plus 300 plus 100 is something you can probably do in your head, and it's definitely easier than adding 298 plus 305 plus 91 in your head. By estimating, you know that the answer to a problem about how many miles Jenny has driven is probably around 700. And when you go the extra step to add them together, you'll find 298 plus 305 plus 91 equals 694, which is pretty close to 700. Again, this will help you if we make a mistake. For example, if you accidentally write 298 plus 350 plus 91, you'll see that the answer you get isn't very close to 700, and you can go back and see where you made the mistake. In fact, sometimes if you estimate, you won't even have to solve the actual equation. For example, let's say our road trip problem looked like this instead. Jenny went on a road trip. On Monday, Jenny drove 298 miles. On Tuesday, Jenny drove 305 miles. On Wednesday, Jenny drove 91 miles. On Thursday, Jenny realized she wanted to visit the world's largest Venus flytrap. When she looked at the map, Jenny realized the Venus flytrap was 800 miles from where she'd started. Has Jenny already passed the Venus flytrap on her trip? If you remember, we already rounded and estimated Jenny's travel so far. She's gone about 700 miles. That means she has not gone 800 miles, so she has not passed the Venus flytrap. That's good news for Jenny. Now she gets to visit the world's largest Venus flytrap. And for a question like this one, it doesn't really matter if Jenny has driven exactly 694 miles or almost 700 miles. It just matters that she hasn't yet driven 800 miles. Those extra six miles to the Venus flytrap are not that important. Well, maybe they'd be really important if you were a fly, but fortunately for you, you're not.